All right. So the Clayton Moore sighting. I'm now really excited. <laughs> okay. Let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to jump right into it. A couple things I'm going to be doing today, and uh, those things are um, talking about how you build your business and then also still kind of filling some of the gaps from the transition with the new software, the new system, the success machine. And then also Mr. Doucette is going to share a couple of things with you. Um, so we're going to kind of go through this meticulously. We'll build a patient. We're going through it. We may even take some questions, but this is a very, very important training. So make sure that uh, you pass this information along to your teams. And even though uh, it is recorded, you want to make sure that if you have a team meetings, go back and kind of reinforce some of the information that we're going to talk about. Mr. Doucette, if you don't mind letting people in, um, I'm going to go ahead and start on the uh, sharing my screen. All right, I want to talk to you a little bit about building your business and you want to take some notes on this. Some of this is some of the some things if you've been in the business for a while, you kind of already know. But then other parts of it is um, refreshed, if you will, because it's more in line with the success machine. And ultimately, that's what we're getting towards. That is that success machine where everything is on autopilot. I'm sure for those of you who've had an opportunity to really dig deep into your, your new system and all these other things that uh, you've seen an incredible amount of improvement even beyond what we've ever done. But I want to talk a little bit about building business because we got to make sure that you and your team, your organizations, they're making money. There are some steps in terms of make, building your business. And I'm big, if you haven't figured it out yet, on processes, whether that's the success machine, whether that's this process, that process, or the other process. Well, building your business is no different. This is also a process. It is the building process. And from my standpoint, there's there are six steps to it. Even if you think you know this, write it down anyway, because there are some nuances that may be different. Okay. So six steps to the business process. And I'm going to go through each one of these steps. But the first thing you want to do is make a list. So write that down, make a list. And then I'll kind of get into some details for the new people and some of the existing people. Uh, the second thing is approach and peak interest. If you don't get all of these six right now, don't fret because I'm going to go through each one of them in a second. The third uh, uh, step in the process, the building process, is, to, is business exposure. Business exposure. The fourth step is business meeting. The fifth step is follow up. And the sixth step is training. Now, when you're getting with your team, I want you to be able to lay out the building process exactly as we're talking about today. It is a process. This is the first thing you do. This is the second thing you do. This is the third thing you do. Because if people don't do it in the right manner, they're going to get confused and a confused person won't do anything. So we want to make sure that you start to understand these processes in your mindset and you teaching it accordingly. So we all know what make a list is. It is just a list of everybody, you know, potentially that can do the business or become a customer. Those are actually two lists, potential business owners, potential customers, write a list of everybody that you know. Don't prejudge the list. Just write those individuals down. That is the list. I'm not going to elaborate on that. You should know what that means. I'm going to go to the second thing, which is approaching peak interest. Now, this is a little bit different because it's more expansive than approach and peak interest in the past. Okay. So let me give you some points as to some different types of approaching and peaking interest. One is referrals. This is a subtopic of approaching peak interest. So how do you approach and peak interest? Um, somebody needs to be let in. The first thing you want to do is uh, look for referrals. I don't think we do enough of asking people, even if they're, if when they're open to a business or open to become a customer or they are your customers already, if you're a customer, and you're satisfied with the service, ask somebody, hey, look, do you know anybody else that may be you know, open to trying our service? 
get referrals from your customers. Get referrals from your customers in terms of potential business owners and potential other customers. So referrals can be very powerful. Another type of approach is this one-on-one -on -one approach. And we know what this is. You know, your elevator pitch, hey, are you open to a business opportunity? You meet someone in the grocery store, you meet someone in the mall, are you open to an opportunity? That's a one-on-one -on -one approach. Social media is a new type, and I, I should say, I shouldn't say new, but new to this industry type of approach in terms of connecting with people. How do you connect with people on social media? Look, if you got two different, you should have, I would guess, two different versions of social media. That is one, you know, uh, for business and one for how you, however you entertain yourself. But if you have a, a uh, one voice, business, social media set up for you, for your, for your company or yourself, then utilize that in terms of approaching people about the opportunity, whether that's sending them direct messages, don't spam because Facebook will shut you down and, and that's not legal anyway. So don't just spam and randomly just throw stuff out. Uh, but if you can inbox people through your business, and I always say business because you don't want to mix, you know, a whole lot of I don't know, family gatherings and parties and all of that kind of stuff with your business. You want to keep your business social media strictly business. And, and, and the buzz ladies, they'll talk to you a little bit more about that in a couple of weeks when they do their training. But you want to make sure you keep your business social media and your personal social media separate. You know, you're sitting there drinking and drinking beer and having fun. You don't want to have that on your business social media. Something else that's uh, becoming very, very popular and you're participating in this, whether you know it or not. And these are funnels. These are, are social media funnels where people will give you information and they will direct you step by step in terms of what you need to do to see an opportunity, become a customer, whatever. If you recall, our site, reps.onevoiceworldwide.com, which is still active, by the way, but reps.onevoiceworldwide.com, that is a funnel. What it does is it gives you information to say, do you want to join? It gives you more information. Do you want to join? It gives you more information. Do you want to join? Or it can give you information. Do you want to become this customer? It can give you information. Do you want to you know, become a customer? So if you understand what funnels are, that is a very effective approach. Remember, we're talking about a type, types of approach. And then also ads. We know what ads are. Now, ads aren't for everybody in terms of whether it's print ads, social media ads, your local, you know, print uh, newspapers or whatever. But if you have a skill set and you have the resources, because ads can kind of get a little bit uh, expensive to really make it work, then they're, they're very effective. So any of these approaches can work for you. The thing about it is you have to have some type of approach. You cannot build your business just thinking people will come to you. You got to go to where the people are, all right? So these are types of approaches that you want to make sure that you, you know, study up on and then also utilize these types of approaches. So that's the approach and peak interest part. Then you want to look at the next step. Remember, we're talking about the process of building your business. So there's the next step, and that is business exposure. So now that you've talked to people, you've, you've uh, approached people, you've piqued people's interest, now you have to expose them to the opportunity. And here's some types of exposure. You, know, you invite them. You can invite them to the next meeting, invite them to a presentation, but it is the invite. That's a type of exposure. Okay. Uh, by the way, guys, don't when you're doing your trainings with your team, don't deviate from this training. Don't put your stuff in. Uh, because we will, we 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 want to keep this simple and very duplicatable. So don't make don't overcomplicate it at all. You got the types of approach. You got the types of exposure. And when we need to add stuff to it, we'll add stuff to it. But to kind of keep it simple, anyway, a type of exposure is to invite people. Another type is to just present to someone right there on the spot. You know, some of you have a skill set already that you can present to people. Right there. If you have an opportunity to present, go ahead and present. Pull out your, you got so many tools now, pull out your phone, your iPad, your laptop, whatever it may be, pen and paper, and just present right there on the spot. Another type of exposure is something that's totally underutilized that we got to get back to, and that's the three-way calls, especially for new people. 
you know, a three-way call is something that will take the pressure off of you and allow an expert to help you get these people that's been exposed to a presentation. So a three-way call is very, uh, very, very powerful. Same thing as a three-way meeting. You guys may decide to go to Starbucks, you, your potential rep, and your upline, the person who brought you in, right? So let's just say, and I just saw that the, the name just popped in, Brandon. Brandon as a new representative. You may sit down, Brandon, Stanley Doucette, and Brandon's potential guest. Sit down at Starbucks and let Stanley do what he does. And that is get this person, either present to this person or get this person to the next presentation. But that's one of Stanley's responsibility, Brandon, because you're new uh, or whoever it may be because you're new. So three-way meetings are very powerful. And then content. What I mean by content is this. You can send them brochures. You can send, I'm talking about electronic stuff now, uh, electronic brochures, electronic media kits. We got all of these websites. You can send them all kinds of links that will expose them directly to what you want to expose them to. I talked about this last week, how you can actually share your link. And um, in sharing your link, you can say, hey, look, take a look at this customer. You can actually send the link for one specific customer. Or you can send a link for your entire shopping uh, cart. Or you can send a link specifically to get people started, so forth and so on. So when I'm talking about content, I'm talking about these type things, uh, website, uh, uh, PDF documents that you can email, uh, PDF brochures, links, anything of that nature that gives people information. Because anytime nowadays when people say they need more information, you don't have to send them brochures and all this other kind of stuff. You can do this electronically. In fact, you can have QR codes. Again, the, the buzz ladies will talk to you, the social media directors. I shouldn't call them buzz ladies. <laughs> Our directors of social media, Cal and Carmela. They're going to talk to you in a couple of weeks about how to actually create QR codes. So anything that you're sharing with people in terms of the types of exposure, you can do that through QR code. If you're there with somebody, what this person is. All right, if you're there with somebody, um, all they have to do is take a picture of the QR code that's on your phone. You don't need all that other stuff. That'll that'll that's content. All right. So we've talked about the types of approach. We've talked about the types of exposure. So the next thing you want to do is, is get them to the business meeting. Think about the process. Now you approach them, you pique their interest, you uh, uh, gotten them to, I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted with these people coming in. That's why you want to be on time. Um, you've, you've gone through the process of, um, Sitting down with them, a three-way meeting, three-way call. The next thing is actually the business meeting, business opportunity meeting. Oh, sorry, went too quick. We know what the business opportunity meeting is. It could be the Tuesday meeting. It could be a weekly meeting in your city. It can be you sitting down, doing a meeting, but it is the meeting. That's the next step in the process, the business meeting. All right? Then, now, after they've actually seen the meeting, and this is where a lot of people fall short as well. You have to do proper follow-ups. You want people to tell you yes, no, or maybe every time. So after the business meeting, you make sure you do a proper follow-up. If you remember from the presentation, you want to ask people, you know, or, or find out where people are in terms of getting started. A number one type person say, hey, look, I'm ready to get started. What do I need to do? Excellent. Then you put them and this, this is kind of like a funnel. So I so want you to hear this. The people who say, who are number one, say they're ready to get started, they go in this particular bucket. They go into the getting started bucket. You get with them, you get them to your site, onevoiceworldwide.com, backslash your name, or however you got your site set up, right? You get them to your site, you keep, click the join now button. And then you go through the process of getting them started. Why? Because they say they're ready to get started. The number two type person say, hey, look, I got some questions. Well, they go into the another bucket. That is the bucket of training. If they are number two, they have some questions. Great. No problem. We understand you may have some questions. Here is the next training. If you don't remember, remember, all events are on the calendar now. 
So the next training, get them scheduled. If you have the capacity to train them, sit down with them and, and, and answer their questions. You're building a business, guys. You're building a business. We're not playing with this. This is not a social and savings club. This is not just something to do to occupy your time. You're building a business. And I'm going to show you the, I'm giving you all the tapes, the tools, the tricks, the this, the that, and the other to build a successful business. I don't say this a lot, but some of you have heard this, but, you know, I built one of the largest organizations in the history of network marketing, and I built it just through some of these simplistic same approaches that I'm talking to you about. How can someone like me, a country boy from Alabama, build a $30 million company in my 20s? You know, $30 million, that'll be a $100 million business today. A $100 million business today, right? Because there's some steps to being successful. And I think what a lot of people are doing, and this is why I'm recreating the culture and all of our mindset, we're taking something that is absolutely brilliant uh, in terms of our company, our compensation plan, our media outlet, and we're not giving it the just due that it deserves. This is nothing to play with. If you want to become independently wealthy, you have an opportunity to do so. We'll give you every tool to do that. So you have to have that kind of mindset. So that second type person, if you have to sit down with them and train them, sit down and train them. You know why people don't sit down and present? Because they don't know how to present. You know how to, you know why they don't know how to present? Because they don't take the time to try to present uh, or train or whatever. All right. So it's not getting on anybody's case. It's just kind of shifting your mindset into what a business owner should expect. And then the number three type person say, hey, look, it's not for me. That's going to be fine as well. You know, you thank those people for taking a look because they truly didn't have to do that. But then ask them two things. One, if they'll do you a favor and try your service. And if they know anyone else that may be open to a business opportunity or open to your products or services. So those are the number one, two, and three. You have to follow up with these people. And I think we need, uh, I think you guys should develop a checklist. Well, everything that I'm talking about in terms of these six steps in the business uh, building process and make sure, okay, ask yourself, did I do this? Have I approached someone, someone and piqued their interest this week? I'm going to ask this as a rhetorical question, and I want you to think about this from, your, from yourself. I can tell you the answer up front because I already know. Here it is, here's the question. How many of you this week approached anyone and piqued their interest about your business. How many of you this week, just think about it for yourselves, approached anyone this week and piqued their interest about the business? 70% of you did not. 70% of you did not do anything towards your business this week. That's okay for this past week, but it's not okay going forward. We got to be able to get into a mindset of building your company within this company. And there are some things that, again, we're going to continuously pound into your mindset until you understand the value of what you have your hands on. You don't want to go any particular week, most cases, any particular day without approaching someone and piquing their interest, whether it's become a rep or whether it's to try one of your services or products, right? Every single day, you're building a business. It, it, it amazes me where people will take the best eight hours plus out of their day, nine to five, every single day, going to someone else's job, building someone else's dream. When you have something that's just as valuable that you own, and you won't put not, not only eight hours of a day, you won't put eight minutes of a day to build your own dream, but you're taking your best eight hours of the day to build somebody else's dream. We have to, at some point, get out of that, at that mindset and focus on building your dream. And then the, the, the last part to the sixth step is to get into training. Now, that is whether you're new, whether you're a number two type person, whether you've been in a business 10 years, it doesn't matter. Everybody needs to get into training. If it's, to, if it's just to reinforce something you already know, Every time you listen to training, I promise you there's something different that we haven't said before or a different spin on some of the same thing. You need to be in training. And then the other part is if you're, you've been in business, you, then you need to be able to know how to train. Remember I just said, the number two type person, they have questions. Well, you should be able 
to answer those questions and sit down with that person and train them. Quite frankly, they should be trained before the training because if you're doing what you're supposed to do, then you know the training. A lot of people don't know the training because they're not taking the business as seriously, okay? Again, I'm not fussing, no big deal. I just want you to understand where we are moving forward. There's no, no big deal prior to May 1st. Now it's a big deal moving forward because we're in a whole nother level, a whole nother system, a whole nother thought process. Now, here you goes your first 30 days. This is what everybody should be focusing in on their first 30 days. And let me tell you guys something. If you've been in the business, I would still encourage you between today, which is May 13th, and June 13th to focus on this exact same thing. And I'm going to tell you why. But your first 30 days, two ideologies that you want to focus on. The first one is this, getting you five auto ship customers. The second is this, two qualified ambassadors. Five auto ship customers and two auto, I'm sorry, two qualified ambassadors. Now, if you're not, if you haven't been paying attention to anything else I said, pay attention to this because this can ultimately, I'm not going to profess that it'll make you millionaire, but I can tell you if you really understand what I'm about to share with you, you know, a year from now, you should be at, at the very least making five figures per month. It really should be. Now, um, when I create, when, when I put together a new software system, I should say we, when we put together a new software system, there are a lot of mechanisms that's a part of the software system that's designed to help you make money. There are a lot of mechanisms that's within this software system that's going to make your life a lot easier than it has been in the past. The success machine is all about a process. It's all about automation. It's all about making your life a lot easier. If you understand the compensation plan, and we went over that last week, I'll show you where you can see that video if you haven't watched it. If you understand the compensation plan, there are three requirements for you to be a qualified ambassador. Those three requirements, one, you all automatically, automatically will have, and it is a lifetime, you know, you, you fulfill that, and that is to pay your $99. Once you've paid your $99, you don't ever have to pay it again. So that's one of the three requirements that's permanently done. The second requirement to become a qualified ambassador is to make sure you pay your monthly store maintenance fee. That is the $29.99 per month for your store. As I mentioned to you last week in the training, uh, the laws changed at the beginning of the year, which kind of you know helped us recraft the software and the compensation plan that's based on the law. And that store maintenance fee is a requirement for you to operate your business. It's only a dollar a day, $29.99 per month. But that is the second requirement in terms of you being a qualified ambassador. The third requirement and the last requirement is to have $125 in volume every month. That is the third requirement, $125 in volume. That means anything that you've done personally or, or you know, which is your, your first I don't want to say your first level. I just say anything that you've done personally, as long as it totals up to $125 in volume, that's the third requirement, and you are a qualified ambassador. Okay, you are a qualified ambassador. Now, as a qualified ambassador, one of the first things you want to look to do is find two other people like you to become qualified ambassadors, okay? That means they have those three requirements, the $99, $29.99, and they have $125 in personal volume. Here is the key, guys. Here's the secret sauce. If you build your 125 in volume off of auto ships, that means it's automatically going to ship every single month, then 
you will be qualified every single month. You don't have to re-qualify in terms of the 125. That is going to be important because if you think about it like this, and I want y'all to keep paying attention, pay attention, don't wash dishes, don't eat, don't do nothing. Pay attention to this because this can make you five minimum five figures per month. If you get five auto ship customers and maintain that and build upon that, then you'll always have your 125 in personal volume. We know you're going to pay your storefront $29.99. That goes without saying. You already paid the $99. But think about it like this. Let's say, for example, and, and just for those of you who may not know, we're putting the Hot Shot Mall product on your new website as well. So it's going to be on the Hot Shot Mall, which you can still use. We'll talk about that at the next training. But they're also going to be on your new store. But let's just say this month, the month of May, you qualify with, you know, $125 in personal volume, but people bought purses, dresses, shoes. That's great. You got $125 in personal volume. But guess what has to happen in June? If you did it the same way, they would have to buy purses and shoes and dresses again for you to qualify in the month of June. Wonder if you just got smart and say, I'm going to bite the bullet. If this, this, the first 30 days should be the most difficult 30 days of your, your business. And it's not difficult. I'm just saying it's subsequent months should be easier. Wonder if you just said, I'm going to just bite the bullet and get five auto ship customers. If they just average $25 auto ship, and most will, then you automatically in the month of June will have your 125 in personal volume. You have that 125 in personal volume and July and August. Again, assuming that those people maintain those auto ships. And then you want to build on that every month, get you a couple of here, a couple of there, until you get into the 25 customer club and the 50 customer club. That's where you are. That's how you build that passively and get you two qualified ambassadors. Now you are a silver ambassador. If you don't know what that means, go back to your back office and look at the compensation plan. But just getting your five auto ships and your two qualified ambassadors, you are now a silver ambassador. If you reach the first earned position, you're going to make more money. It is very, very easy to get to, to silver ambassador. That's where you want to be. We're going to acknowledge, I told you guys, we're going to have a meeting June 3rd just to acknowledge our newly promoted silver ambassadors and above. You want to get recognized on our, you want to get recognized on our June 3rd meeting. But these five auto ship customers and two qualified ambassadors within your next 30 days. If you're new, that should be your first thing you do. If you're bringing someone into the business, remember, we're still talking about the building process. This is just the conclusion of it. If you're bringing someone into the business, when you sit down with that brand new person, you go through what you've just written down, the six steps to the building process, and you give them that 30-day goal. This is what you should accomplish over your next 30 days. Guys, if they duplicate this, if your two qualified ambassadors duplicate this, and then their two qualified ambassadors duplicate this, if this continues to duplicate, you got compression, you got all of these things that we have programmed in the system that's going to help you make money, man, man, five figures, and I couldn't say this as the founder of the company, I couldn't say this legally on the company, on this call recording if it wasn't true, but I'm telling you, if they duplicate this process, five figures per month can become your reality. It may take you 12 months to get to five figures per month at this rate. You can you, sh you can get 10 auto ships, 20, 50, you can get 50 reps, it doesn't matter, but this should be the minimum to get you the silver ambassador within your first 30 days. Uh, I'm gonna stick a pin right here before I move on. Uh, if there's any question, I can't see anybody, but just, Come off of mute if you have any question on this particular slide, because it's that just that important. Any questions? No question. I have a question. Okay. Dr. Orm, yes. the twenty dollars the twenty nine doesn't matter anymore. The um the mall. So if I have the digital connect, how much of that matters toward my personal volume? Very, very good question. It is the 50, 50 of that, um, 50 of the, you still, 
technically have the combo, the $79.99, because there is a saving. It's just $50 goes toward the $125. Also along that same vein, and uh, y'all can thank Mr. Doucette and Mr. Landrum for this, but they kind of outvoted me this week where the $99, if you actually bring in an, an, uh, an ambassador in a given month, that $99 would count towards a your 125 as well. I said no, but they outvoted me. <laughs> Thank so you. To answer, yeah, to answer your question, Christine, 50, about 50 of the, the 79.99 counts toward the 125. And if you bring in an ambassador in a month, that counts toward the 125. So that in itself would be 149 in PV, just an ambassador and the digital combo. It's called digital combo now. And Got for it. those of you, so thanks, thanks for that question, uh, Christine. And for those of you who may not have been on last week, we the the laws changed in January. So certain things that we were were doing previously, we can't do anymore. Like we were considering the 29.99 that you were paying for your store, we classified that as a product, okay? And because it was a product, we could count it toward personal volume and commission. However, the law changed in January where the FTC will not allow us to, uh, and not just us, just the entire industry, but to not allow us to uh, qualify that as a product any longer. That is your monthly maintenance fee. That is for your store. And because it is not a product, we cannot count it toward PV or commission because that will be a pyramid. Pyramid is a money exchange with hands with no product, goods, or service. Remember, hence the word is no product, good, or service. If we paid on the $29.99, which is no longer classified as a product, then we're treading that line of being a pyramid. And I'm very, very keen on following the law. So that's why we had to kind of shake some things up once the law changed. But that's also why we made some adjustments and you know, really got in the trenches and made your compensation plan so much easier and so much easier to qualify. And there's so much more money in it. So before I kind of, there's another topic on this same subject that I want to talk about. But before I do that, any other questions on the five auto ship customers or the two qualified and back? Any other questions? Just come off mute and let me know. All right, great. So excellent. So I'm, I'm expecting and I'm, I'm looking for everybody now to get their five auto ship customers and their two qualified ambassadors and they will be silver ambassadors. I'm serious about this man, June 3rd. I'm gonna get on this call, don't y'all embarrass me. I wanna promote people to silver ambassador and above and I'm gonna be horrified if you know nobody gets promoted and I've kind of put my foot in it. So anyway, so that's that. now. Let me go over something that's uh, also extremely important. That's a part of this whole 125 qualification and all this other kind of stuff. But let me stop sharing my screen. I gave you guys a, on April 29th, the meeting, I gave you guys a, uh, a hack, if you will, that if you understood what I was saying, it would, it could increase the amount of money that you make in a given month. As it stands right now, you get you guys get paid five times in a month. Five times in a month, you get paid four weekly commissions, and you get paid one monthly commission. This is not counting the loyalty rewards, which you get those things as well. By the way, Myra Perry, I think I saw Myra. Myra. Uh, congratulations, sister, and some other people. But in our testing with the system, you know, we just randomly pulled up a name and we saw you got loyalty rewards, Myra Perry. <laughs> you got loyalty hey, Beth, rewards. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and I'm sure other people have. It was just when we were testing with the programmers, they were like, um, you know, because we have to test these commissions and make sure everything, we paid out the first commission. Mr. Duce is going to talk about that in a second. So we paid out that first weekly commission. The second weekly commission goes out Monday, by the way. But anyway, he'll talk about that in a second. But in testing this, we were like, okay, let's make sure everybody got paid properly, all of the numbers are right, the loyalty rewards. And they were like, let's just pull up a random name. So the random name that was pulled up was Myra Perry. And we looked back there, 
She has loyalty rewards. <laughs> so that's if you hadn't seen that, Myra, go into your back office and click loyalty rewards. You'll see how much it is just based on your purchase. And again, I'm sure everybody has uh, other people who made purchases. You already got loyalty rewards as well. And those things can be used um, to purchase other things within your system. So anyway, so here's the point I want to make that's very critical about your, your, your commission. You got to understand the compensation plan. And I think some people still don't understand. We know the seven ways to get paid. You got your personal commission, you got your team commission, you got fast start bonuses, you got matching bonuses, you got the incentive awards from the company, you got loyalty rewards, and you got the bonus pool. I want to focus on the weekly pay right now because some people almost miss money, and we got to make sure you understand this. Your personal commission now, that is your 20%. You actually get paid every single week. You get paid whatever you've done this week, you get paid every seven days. So when you look at your back office in the pay cycle, you're going to say May 1st through May 7th, May 8th through May 14th, so forth and so on. So you get paid every seven days on your personal commission. What is your personal commission? Your 20%. Now, you get paid every month, once a month, on your team commission. So let's just focus on those two things. You get paid every week on your personal commission. And that's also, by the way, weekly, your fast start and matching bonuses. So weekly, you get paid on your personal commission, your fast start bonuses, and your matching bonuses. You get paid once a month for your team commission. That's your level. That's your downline. So you need to understand that differentiation first. Now. That being the case, and again, legally, you have to be qualified to get paid any commission. They're cracking down on this whole pyramid stuff around the around. I told y'all last week, they find uh, Herbalife over $100 million. They find them over $100 million. Some companies shut down because they're not following the law to the letter of the law. You have to be qualified to get these payments. So if you understand the notion that I just said, you get paid once a week on your personal commission, your fast start bonuses, and your matching bonuses, that means you have to be qualified in that week to get paid for that week and qualified in the next week to be, and now it sounds like it's hard, but it's really simple. I'm going to tell you why. But qualified in the first week, qualified in the second week, qualified in the third week, qualified in the fourth week in order to get your personal commission. So let's just focus on the personal commission and the team commission. If you are an affiliate or an ambassador, now remember, affiliate and ambassador is different than a qualified ambassador. And something is, you know, beeping, hopefully. Nothing is going wrong. But anyway, um, an affiliate and an ambassador is different from a qualified ambassador. I just told you what a qualified ambassador was. It is a, uh, and everybody say it, just, just tell me, say it to yourself, unmute yourself. I want you to tell me what a qualified ambassador, three requirements for qualified ambassadors. Pay anybody? your $99. Pay your $99 and then your store maintenance to be an ambassador. A qualified ambassador. What's your qualified ambassador? Three requirements. Add 125 personal. That's right. So the 125 personal. So you got the $99, the $29.99, and the 125. That makes you a qualified ambassador. But to be an ambassador, you just need two requirements. The $99 and the $29.99. Okay. So if that's the case, um, on your weekly payouts, you only need to be an ambassador. I don't know if y'all hear like a, a, a beeping. Do y'all hear like a beeping? Just want to make sure it's not. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I hear it as well, Doc. And I was looking to see if they had anybody that was uh, off mute, but everybody's on mute. So I'm not sure okay. where that's coming from. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I just don't want nothing to mess up. Um, if it does, we'll we'll make sure we fix it. But I don't know what that is. But anyway, um, but to get your weekly payouts, you only need to be an ambassador. You don't have to be a qualified ambassador. Just make sure you understand that. To get your weekly pay, you just need to be an ambassador. That means basically you pay for your store. You're twenty nine ninety nine. Now, to get the team commissions, you would need all three requirements, and you can have that at any point during the month. Here's the hack again. If you want to get paid in week one, then it's so annoying, whatever that is, I cannot find it. But if you want to get paid in week one, you need to be at least a uh, ambassador with you have your storefront in week one. That's the $29.99. If you want to get paid in week two, you at least need to have your $29.99 in week two, so forth as week three and week four. That being the case, guys, here's the hack. I would recommend everybody, this is just a recommendation, but I would recommend, I'm going to have to find that beat because it's going to drive me mad until I do. My mind is just so um, focused that every little thing throws me off. So anyway, um, I would recommend that everybody, and this is not a requirement, it's just a recommendation, make sure that your store maintenance fee, that's the $29.99, I would make sure that that is uh, debited in the first week of the month. That's between the, the, you know, the first, between the first and the second. I would make sure that it doesn't have to be the first day but the first week. Why is that the case? I'm talking about your $29.99. That's because now you can get paid your personal bonus, your personal commission in week one. You can get your personal commission in week two, week three, or week four. Some people have put their um, $29.99 to be debited off their car at the end of the month. There's nothing wrong with that. You may get paid at the end of the month, but think about your personal commission, your 20%. You missed out on money week one, you missed out on money week two, you missed out on money week three, but you did get money week four because that's when your $29.99 came out. Make sure, guys, and this again, this is just a hat. This is not, this is not a law. The, the law just says you got to be qualified. You can be qualified whenever you want to, but if you want to maximize the compensation plan, I will put the $29.99 at the beginning, the first seven days of the month. Now, that's for the personal commission. As for the team commission, it doesn't matter. As long as you are qualified with your three requirements as a qualified ambassador by the last day of the month, it counts for the whole month. So that's the difference between the weekly qualification and the monthly qualification. Is that clear with everybody? Is that clear? If, you, if it's not, raise your hand or, or, or just kind of come off mute if it's not clear. All right, so here's what I would do if, if, if some of you, and some of, some of you guys, I, you know, we, we, we changed it for you. And I asked Mr. Landrum to reach out to you to say, hey, look, we see that you're about to miss some money. You know, your $29.99 is supposed to come out tomorrow or in two days. We actually went in as a favor to change it a day or two early so you wouldn't miss out on that money. Some people's money was more than the $29.99. It just don't make sense to lose that money when all you need to do is get your store that you're going to get it anyway in this month, right? But I would encourage everybody to look in your back office. And if your $29.99 maintenance fee is at the end of the month or any, any, any week other than the first week, I would consider changing that debit date to sometime within the first and the seventh of the month. OK, now, again, you don't have to. I'm just giving you a hack that's going to help you make more money. Last time. Is there any questions on that? All right. Excellent. Um, let me share my screen. Something else that's important. Then I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Doucette. Um,
All right, so I'm sharing my screen in terms of the back office. Share my screen in terms of the back office. I'm still trying to find this annoying noise. Um, if you weren't on last week and you didn't look at the video, this your support ticket is here. If you want to send in anything as it relates to the uh, support, any kind of questions, anything, your support ticket is here. You click this, you can submit a support ticket. You don't have to call in to uh, headquarters, 90% of whatever you need. You can just click here and do your support ticket. Now, what we've done, and we're going to do it this week too, in, under training, we now have your Zoom videos, and last week's training is here, May 6th training is here. We're going to add today's training, May 13th. It'll be right under that. So you'll see the training. And I can tell y'all, we're not going to, you know, uh, record these trainings every week. I, you know, I'm doing this because Mr. Doucette and Mr. Landry, they told me to. My preference is to not record it. And it's not like trying to be mean, but people need to be on training and presentation. So I'm not, it, you know, is not any kind of punishment. It's not that. It's just I want people to be able to ask questions and things of that nature. I've always kind of been a little torn between that. But again, I'm yielding to my partners. And so this week's training will be here as well. So we're going to say May 6th training. Go back and listen to that because that was very important. I'm not regurgitating all of that information. And then after this training, you'll see the May 13th training, so forth and so on. If you need to see the comp plan and all that, those things are here. So I'm not going through that again. That's all on the last week's training. So make sure you make note of these two areas, the support ticket, as well as your Zoom training and any other training information. Now, I want to make sure everybody go to your profile under your back office. Go to profile and guys, update your information. Lord have mercy. Update your information. That is your address, your birth date, your telephone number. Here's what's happening. Here's why this stuff is so important. I told you we started doing commission. And uh, Mr. Mr. Lucet is going to talk about some things in commission, but some of y'all address for commission is the One Voice Worldwide address because you still haven't logged in and updated your information. Log into your back office, go to where it says profile right here, personal information, just click personal information, just like I just did here, and update your information, your name, your address, your, I'm not scrolling down because all my information, is, but your name, your address, your phone number, your date of birth, and, 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 and by the way, your social security number is not required yet, but let me give you another hack. Let me give you a hint as to what's going to happen. As soon as you make $600 in one voice in this new system, I know some of you are well past that, but I'm talking about in this new system that we just launched. As soon as you make $600, when you log in, the next time you log in, it's going to say you can't go any further until you put your Social Security number. You can't go any further until you put your Social Security Legally, and I told you all, I'm not playing with the law, legally, we don't have to give 1099s or do certain things until you made at least $600. And with this system, you set it up where once you get to that $600 threshold, the very next time you log in, it's going to ask for your social security number. So we can send that 1099 to you at the end of the year, right? So just be aware if you hadn't seen it or if it hadn't popped up yet, it will. <laughs> we got everything covered, players. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, put your personal information now. Um, let me move this thing so I can show you something else. Hold on. This, um, this Zoom box is in the way. Also, when you're doing your, your personal information, everybody pay attention. Those that I can see, I can see when you're not paying attention. So you also update your social media stuff here. Click your social media stuff. This is important because if you're going to share your stuff during social media, you have to give permission. We can't give permission for you. Again, the law, the laws have changed. You have to decide what can be shared or what you can share through your system. 
So if you want your if you want to share your stuff through Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or LinkedIn or whatever, go to your back office under your profile, click social media, and click those boxes to turn them on. Twitter, uh, if you do tweets and all that, I don't do Twitter. The company will never do anything with Twitter. I don't fool with idiots. So we'll, we were never, from a company standpoint, do anything with Twitter. But if you want to do something individually with Twitter, you can. But, you know, at one point I was going to buy what they what they're called Tesla. I'm not buying nothing from that. Well, anyway. Uh, so anyway, I'm all off track. Um, social media. <laughs> Go to here and turn on whatever you want to be able to share. This is going to be important, guys, So because if, if you start to um, sharing your link, directly through your social media is not going to work if you don't have this turned on. So make sure this is turned on. This thing that says my support page, when you click my support page, it goes here where you got, this is where you upload your picture. If you want to upload your picture, um, your email is here, but then also your those social medias that you just turned on, they're going to be on your, your uh, support page, right? You can upload your picture, email, and all of whatever social media you turned on, you're going to see it here. The reason this is important is because you can edit this story where it says my story, and you can actually just send this out to people. However you want to edit it. This is just a generic joint, but you can edit it. It'll have your name if you want to, your ID if you want to send that out, your rank if you want to send that out. This is All this is just dummy content. Just want you to see what it is. And, of course, the events are down there. But uh, yeah, you go to uh, on your support page. I'm sorry, on your profile, you go to my support page and you click that. It'll come here. Upload your picture. You got your social media. You can edit this content. There should be an edit button somewhere on here. Right down here says edit my support page. That means you can change that content. And make it say whatever you want to say. You can send that link out to people. It is go. It goes back to the uh, business exposure that we talked to. Remember, I said social media. That's business exposure. So that's important. The other thing that's critically important under your profile. Let me go back to your profile. So you've done your personal info, your debit and credit card information, especially if you have auto shifts and stuff set up. You need to set up your debit or credit card stuff so that the auto your auto ship and your your store maintenance fee, your monthly maintenance fee is automatically deducted. Guess what happens? If this is not here, we can't get your store maintenance fee charged. And if you can't get your store maintenance fee charged, guess what happens? You don't get paid week one or two or three or four or for the month. So you got these things are very important. For those people who have not sent out those forms, we're not going to indefinitely leave that stuff on the old system. At some point, you're going to have to put your store, at least your store, in the new system. That form is still on the Hot Shot Mall. Put your, make sure, because we can't, we can't put this information here. You have to put it here, right? Uh, but if you send in your form, we can put it here for you, and then you can edit it as you need to. But we need to have that form because we don't save your credit card information. The only information to save is the last four digits. So we don't have any clue as to what your credit card information is. So if you haven't put your stuff from the old system to the new system, make sure you do that. That's going to be important. So that's the debit card. Bank accounts, if you, you know, again, as we said, to talk about this, but if you want to transfer your money from your payment system to your bank account, you can do it one day, instantly, whatever. You'll need that information there. And make sure you update your addresses under here, your billing address as well as your shipping address. Make sure you update those things. All right. So I am going to now turn it over to Mr. Doucette, and then I'll come back out and close. He has a couple of exciting things that uh, he's going to share with you, Mr. Doucette. Let me stop sharing my screen. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, depends on what the time. I hope everybody's doing. Uh, thank you, Dr. Orem, for completely making me do the one voice system. <laughs> no, seriously, everybody, y'all should give it up for uh, Dr. Orm. He did an incredible job today. And some of the things that we are planning, you know, now and then pushing forward in the future have been absolutely amazing, the things that we're doing. 
keep in mind every single thing he talked about in terms of the system, the hacks, and those things. Um, Mr. Landry and I are not always going to be able to <laughs> move him off of certain things. So let's make sure we follow that. Uh, June 3rd is going to be a big day. It's going to be a big day. A lot of people will be promoted to Silver Ambassador and above. And that gets us very, very excited. With that being said, <clears throat> uh, people getting promoted also mean it's going to have some, uh, some funds that come your way. So what I want to do today is introduce you guys to our actual, oh, hold on, let me share my screen, to our new pay system. All right. All right, I'm just trying to move these um, <clears throat> control panels out the way. So I want to welcome everybody to our actual new pay system. Uh, our new pay system, we have been working on this. Uh, I don't even know the amount of time at this point, but we've been working on this for months to make sure we find a partner that we're partnering with, making sure that uh, as we're continuously moving forward, that we're going international and so many other exciting things. Uh, we hear every suggestion and we take it into consideration to make sure things is even simpler, smoother, and continue to help us move forward as we go. So introducing our new pay system is very simplistic. It's very, it's very easy to uh, manipulate and work through. We are absolutely excited to share with you guys. Listen, guys, there's a lot of things you will not have to do the way we have it designed right now, and it's exciting. As soon as you get a commission or a bonus or something of monetary value from one voice, you will get an actual email. And that email will simply say, congratulations, one voice just sent you money. Now you've seen some of the code there, but it's just simply congratulations, one voice just sent you money. And it'll give you the amount of money You'll be able to see the source of where you come, whether it's a bonus, whether it's a commission or something, and go from there. That button where it says activate my account, that's where you activate your account, okay? You activate your account. When you click that button, you're just going to go to uh, updating your email uh, email and username and password. I just, I'm sorry, updating your password. Once you update your password, then you will be into the system. Now, I'm going to show you guys the portal in a second, but I just want to share with you also some different uh, emails that you may get. It's not a lot, but I want to share with you some different emails. So as you see it, once again, once you get a commission from one voice, whether it's a commission, whether it's a bonus or anything of that sort, you're going to get an email uh, and a text message, actually, an email and a text message, and it's going to actually say, Dear... Uh, who I'm looking at, Norma Knight, congratulations, One Voice Worldwide just sent you money. And it's going to have the amount of money, the source of the currency, which will be um, dollars, and then the, from One Voice, and then activate my account. Click on activate my account. It's going to take you to where you uh, upgrade, or not upgrade, what is it? change your password, and then you'll go right into the system. All right. It's literally that simple. Some other um, 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 messages that you will receive is once you activate it, you're going to see receive an email that say your account has been activated. And then it will take you to where you have to go as well. Now, right here where it says access my account, you just click on it and you're going to go right to accessing your account. All right. Very simple. Very smooth, very easy to do. Um, here is one of them for transferring, and I'm going to share with you guys a transfer, but I wanted to share with you this message for if you want to transfer some money. Your transfer of whatever amount uh, in dollars will send to a payer. So for an example, well, I'm, I, I don't want to show you this, and then I'll get to the transfer, and I'll come back to this. So let me stop sharing my screen and then pull up the actual uh, portal 
in the back office and what it looks like. All right. I hope you guys are excited because we've been working on this for some time. All right. So this is what the back office of your portal looks like for the pay system, the one voice pay system. This is what it looks like. OK, it's just it's it's very simple. And to share with you what's there. So the first thing is you have obviously our logo here, your name and your home. This is the home button. This, oh, took some time to log out. Um, <clears throat> this is your home button, okay? This is your home button. As you can see what's on the, Dr. Orm, I see what you mean. You keep moving uh, all of these control panels. It's, it's a little difficult at times. But this is your home. This is what you see. And on your home, you can see <clears throat> what your available funds are. This is available funds. Available funds right now in my wallet is $81 US dollars balance. Okay. That's what you see on your home screen. If you want to transfer, this is important. This is very, very important. If you want to transfer, you can transfer monies. Um, onto your actual, um, you will transfer monies to your bank account, or you can transfer monies to someone in the One Voice ecosystem. What I mean by that, anybody in One Voice that you want to donate to. So if Norman decides he wants to donate that ten thousand dollars to Dr. Orm, he can click on uh, uh, another wallet and go from there. So let me take you through one uh, each of them. So on the cash out, once you click on cash out, you can see how the actual transfers, initiate the transfers, let me pull this over here, initiate the transfers. Is it take you transfer type, then it'll take you to country and amount, with America and how much you wanna transfer. You can transfer over a dollar and then you'll take select services. You'll get a receipt and the confirmation. I don't wanna go past this right now It'll start initiation some things, but this very, very simple. This is actually the process. Very, very simple, very straightforward. Any questions on first transferring monies over to uh, your own account? Any, any questions on that? Mr. said, just a question. I noticed when you said your account has been activated at screen, well, I have received some from Mass Pay. Is that the same? It said Mass that Pay. Is, yeah, that's one of our partners. That's correct. That's one of our partners that we're working with um, in order to put the whole One Voice Pay system together. So that's correct. Before they sent some stuff out before, but nonetheless, that is accurate. We have now since uh, fixed a lot of things that wasn't there. So now that's accurate to answer your question. Once you log in, you'll see all of the One Voice stuff. Yeah, you won't see mass pay anymore, Robert, like that in the email. Uh, you just see the uh, one voice brand. But okay. like they used to tell us, cash the check. That's, that's, that's your money. That, that's, right. that's a good, that money's in your back office. Cash the check. But well, when I went through to uh, mass pay and open it up, it asked for the email and the password. I guess I don't know. <laughs> how to what information should be in that email for the I guess my email address but I wasn't able to look, sign in you wasn't able to sign into your back office because it was still having some um we were still working on some stuff a few days ago so we okay. just wanted to make sure yeah make okay. sure all of that is, is squared away all right and if you have a uh, Robert uh an issue with logging in just shoot us a support ticket and then we'll get right on it, okay? Okay. All right, so the transfer, now you see this, you go to the transfer, where would you spend, you know, like to send your money and how much? So you could probably just put a dollar here, you click next. Once you click next, it'll take you through what do you wanna do the same day, next day, or the following day. Hold on, I wanna stop sharing my screen because I wanna share, share with you guys what that actually looks like. Forgot to share my screen. All right, can you guys see this now? <clears throat> yeah. 
Yes, we can see it. Okay. So once you click on, so, uh, you get to select your services, you're going to have instant pay, next day bank deposit, or same day bank deposit, right? Now, if it's an instant pay, it's $3. Um, and But you'll see the actual amount that you'll be transferring. But right here for this one, we're just showing a fee of $3, right? And that will go directly to your debit card or a card that you put on file. It will go straight to that card, okay? And it's instant. It's literally instant. I've tested. It's instant. <laughs> That's a good thing. Uh, same day is a fee of $3, but you'll be able to deposit whatever it is that you want to deposit into your own bank account, not to a car, not to something else, but to your own bank account. That will be the same day. And you'll be able to transfer that in, and then you can spend your money how you would like to spend it. And then we also have next day bank deposit which is a two dollar fee and it will go into the bank the next day uh it's literally that simple you will receive a receipt and a confirmation and then after you receive a receipt and a confirmation that will be all you will be done with it you can keep money on uh inside of the uh one voice pay system if you want or you can move all of your money over to or you can put some on on your own credit card or your own debit card or you can move some all, you know, keep some there for whatever you want to do. So that's literally the, the system and how we have it designed uh, moving forward. All right, hold on. Let me bring back up the other page. Oh, forgot to share my screen. All right, so any questions on this part about transferring funds? All right, no questions. Let's go to history. Yes. Okay, is the that part in our back office now? I mean, I mean it might be a stupid question, but is available now. If you receive, if you receive the actual commission or some a bonus from one voice, you would have just like Rob said, you would have already received an alert that uh, you have funds for one voice worldwide, okay? As okay, soon as you. you receive funds, you're gonna get a email and a text message saying you've received funds from one voice worldwide. And then it will just go through the process. Very, very simplistic, very, very simple process, okay? Can I can share something real quick, Mr. Doucette? Yes, sir. Uh, by the way, if you, you can click accept our cookies, it's fine. Um, and, and what we were doing with this system, you guys know that, you know, this is the week one commission was, you know, the first through the seventh and all this other kind of stuff. And you guys saw the very first commission. Pat, yes, you do have some commission. I know that I've, I've seen it in Robert and Tamir and a bunch of people you already got commission is already in back office. So once you get this, uh, uh, the login, um, then you'll be able to, and I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you know, you said about this, to uh, share that with you. I'm all, I'm all in his presentation. <laughs> it is perfectly fine. Yeah, but this is important for you guys to understand. As we are working with other people in systems, banks, and things of that nature, trying to put all of this together, you guys were the first people that saw mass pay come through. You were the first people to get a commission. We had to send a commission out to make sure that the commissions were working properly. And it, uh, you know, it may say mass pay because that is our partner. But now that we've, you know, made sure all the keeps were worked out in commissions, we sent our commissions, we're sending our board commissions on Monday, mm -hmm. then, you know, all of those things have been rebranded to one voice. We've gotten everything settled with the banks. All of the legal stuff is in place. The other thing that I like that is incredible, and this is a, this is a fix from a lot of the, issues that people were feeling uh, with the Hotshot Mall card, people who just kind of got frustrated and they would bring this stuff to Mr. Doucette and Mr. Landry. So this is how we decided to fix this. With this particular system, like he said, and, and we both tested this, you know, I did like an instant pay, which means, you know, I, I wanted to put money off my card. I mean, out of my wallet, this is called a wallet. So your commission, I wanted to put that on my debit card right away. So I pulled out my debit card to just different banks that I had, just debit, just debit cards to different banks. And I would put in, you know, this amount to this bank, this amount to this bank, and instantly 
it hit my Wells Fargo card and my Navy Federal card and my Renaissance Bank card. It hit all of those cards instantly on my own personal debit card. So that's a benefit to you guys so that you don't have to go through all of the challenges that you went through with the Hotshot Mall debit card. Both of those things, by the way, it's not, you know, when you're dealing with a bank, we don't make the law. We just have to follow what they say. But, you know, we wanted to make it easier. And that's why Mr. Doucette, Mr. Doucette gets credit for this. Because, you know, my job as CEO, I'm like, hey, look, this is what they want. Mr. Landrum, go find this and do this. And Mr. Doucette, go find this and do this. And y'all definitely need to thank Mr. Doucette because he found this company and he worked the heck out of them. If you know him, he worked the heck out of them <laughs> <laughs> so that they would, get, I mean, even as late as last night, he were, he driving those people, like driving them, you know, making them get on Zoom and say, this not right, this not right, this not right, fix this, fix this, fix this. I'm talking about as late as last night. So. Thank him when you see him, but this he is the architect of this system and it answers all the questions that we had. And I, I think it's brilliant and it's going to be even more brilliant as we move forward. So thank you, Mr. Doucette. Thank you, sir. I, I truly appreciate it. Um, the transaction history, it's simple. It's just a transaction history. You can see when the commissions came out and said commission payment uh, for matrix period two was $70. That's just a bonus. Uh, you can see account creation. That's when we were doing some testing and all of those things. As y'all, as you guys can see, we were testing back and forth, back and forward, uh, starting on May 10th. That's a, that's when we were testing, testing to make sure we get this um, out in front with everybody. So as you can see, it's very simple. It's very uh, easy to use uh, for what we're doing. When you look at user profile, the user profile, you have your information in here. Um, and having all the information is grayed out. It's grayed out for a reason. This is transferred from Multisoft over to uh, our pay system. And once it's there, it's there. We can't go in and change, you know, let me change this and let me move that. It's already moved into. That's why Dr. Orm has been saying, please put your correct information in the system because it has ripple effects all the way through all right so as you can see but you can't edit it you you just change your stuff in the system like dr arm said so it's literally that easy um and then over here on the side you can see your name and then then a member sense all of those things so it's truly a simplistic place to go now here is something you want to write down once you get into the system, once you uh, click on the button and you change your uh, password and now you're into the system, and let's say two weeks from now or next week, you want to go and check the system to see how much money you have on the system. Here is what you have to, um, uh, here's the uh, URL, I should say, where you go, cards.onevoiceworldwide.com. I'm going to say that again. Cards dot one voice worldwide dot com okay that's where you will go to and you can go there and you'll be able to check your actual pay if you look at it this is what it looks like uh right here this is what it looks like got name your password and sign in or you can log in right here there's one voice you click in sign in and you're right back in to your actual back office all right so now you'll be able to see your available funds and that's all. All right, so I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Anybody have any questions on the new pay system? Any questions that anyone may have on the actual new pay system? <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, that was C-A-R-D-S, cards. Yep, C-A-R-D-S, cards.onevoiceworldwide.com. Okay, and also uh, just being clear, we're no longer using the Hotshot Mall debit card. That's correct, and we'll we'll get further into that next week uh, uh, in terms of what what needs to be taking place there. Thank you. You're welcome. And um, you were saying that we cannot edit our card once it's in the system, right? No, I didn't. I didn't say you couldn't edit your card. I was saying your profile, your profile. profile. 
Yeah, when you go to cards.onevoiceworldwide.com, once you receive your first commission, you go in and some people may want to say, oh, let me look at what my profile is. And it have all your information there. Well, it's grayed out. You cannot change that. So that's the big thing about making sure all of the stuff in the system, in our, um, our back office system is accurate. Okay? Okay, thank you. You when we pull commissions again on Monday, I think it is, um, we're going to extract all of the content from your back office into the payment system. If your address and stuff is updated, like if you update it today, then it'll be updated in the pay system Monday. If you don't update it, it's going to still have one voice address Monday. And you're going to get, we're going to get to a point where you're going to have an issue. Because the bank is going to like all of these people don't live at 8343 Roswell Road. You're going to have That's an right. issue. That's why I keep pounding on the fact that uh, you need to to get that changed in your back office. So the next transfer we do for commission, because we pull every single rep, whether you made money or not. We pull every single account into the commission and then some of them are paid. And uh, uh, but when we pull that on Monday, if you changed your information, then it should populate in the new card system, and we're gonna be looking out for that. Any other questions? Y'all excited about the new pay system, or is y'all 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 like it? Y'all excited? Y'all just kind of like, uh... <laughs> yes, sir. It's awesome. Thanks, Norman. Outstanding. Well, I love it. Thank you. Thank you. So that's it. I'm glad everybody liked, uh, liked the actual pace system. It's a lot easier. It's a lot more simplistic. And um, I think that's it for me on my end, Dr. Orm. So I'll turn it back okay. over to you. Thank uh, you, sir. And go from there. All right. I was trying not to debo the call, but if, if, if I'm wrong, you can correct me, Mr. Doucette. So Robert, Norman, Pat Hartwell, Linda, whoever, I can't see all the names here, but whoever got a commission, if I am correct, you should be able to go to cards.onevoiceworldwide.com now and either activate or log in. You should be able to go there now. No. Cards that one, and you should see your commission that's there. You should see your commission that's there right now. So go to cards.onevoiceworldwide.com and uh, Mr. Doucet, can you pull that up again? And look, and I want y'all to notice at the bottom, there is a thing that says activate card. So if you haven't activated, which I don't think anybody has, you would activate it for uh, the uh, cards that one worth worldwide that come. Okay. All right. Log out. So Pat, Nor uh, Norman, uh, Robert, all y'all look at that they've got commissions. Linda, I, I can't remember everybody. Uh, so you see either you see the login. If you don't have a login, this is the question you had, Robert. You see at the bottom where it says activate account, right bottom left. Mm -hmm. Can you scroll over that, Mr. Lucet? Yeah, you would click that to activate your account. That's when it's going to ask you that information he talked about. Just I want to say it's just uh, what password, date of birth, something like that. Yeah, don't like two two, two yeah two bits of information. It might just be your password, date of birth. Once you activate that, it's going to be attached. This is something else that's important. This is going to attach to your email that's in your back office. So your username is your email that's in your back office. If you put an email that's not in your back office, it's not going to find it. It's not going to find it. Remember, your pay has to sync with your back office. That's how we, you know, that's how it's going to give you a commission. To this pay system. So whatever email that you have in your back office, that is your username. And then once you activate account, that'll be your password. So I want you guys, Pat, uh, Linda, Robert, whoever, I, again, I don't know who all got commissions, but that should be there. Go there today and make sure and it should say what you have there. And it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger as you build. And then also today, Dr. On, for a little while, I'll, I'll make myself available uh, to make sure that you know, we're working things out or if anybody have any issues, I'll, I'll still make myself available for a little while today as well. Okay, cool. I got cool. one question. Suppose someone doesn't have a back office. They don't have a... This is a, a real easy one. This is this a real easy one for me. 
if they don't have a back office, they can't get paid. They can't okay. get paid. They can't get recognition. They can't. They, if they don't have a back office, they don't, it's not even acknowledged that they even in the business. That's right. Okay. So they need to fill out that form to get a back office. Have to fill uh, out that form. Okay. Yeah, they need to fill out that form. That's what as we've been telling y'all, telling y'all, and this is this is why. Okay. Okay. All right then. Yeah. No, I ain't fussing. I'm just. They, oh, I understand. <laughs> This system is very, very robust and it's very, very, uh, I mean, it's a great system. So, and it works well together because we we heard the things that we wanted you guys, uh, that you guys wanted, and we kind of put all of these systems that we had, we put it into one place. The final piece of the puzzle, now that we've gotten all of this stuff done, is we're, we're launching over the next seven days uh, supplements. We got a bunch of supplements that we've already done, new supplements. We're going to have uh, about right at 100 supplements when it's all said and done, probably release them like 10 or 20 every week. Um, and then all of the products in the Hot Shot Mall. The Hot Shot Mall and your back office system will mirror each other. So there will be exact same products in the Hot Shot Mall will be in your back office. And they can make purchases from the Hot Shot Mall or your back office either way. So those are the last two pieces. Linda, I see you had a question. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I I could not see any of Mr. Doucette's screen uh, when he was doing the display. I only could write down what he was saying. So, he, uh, Mr. Doucette, expect a phone call from me today. Thank you. Uh, you're okay. welcome. No problem. One thing I want to say, uh, Dr. Orm, you hit on it, but I want to re uh, reiterate this particular piece. The system is very sensitive and it have absolutely no mercy. It have absolutely no mercy. So please, please, please fill out all the information that Dr. Orm has been instructing us to do. Please do that because there are some things that the system, the laws, the law changes is not going to allow us to do anymore. So please, please, please get all of that information out, fill it out properly, and then we'll, we'll, it's going to be seamless. Yeah, we had for, for a couple of days, the whole, uh, thank you, Samir, uh, the, we, the, the, um, for a couple of days when we were testing the commission system, it just wouldn't work. It just wasn't working. We kept getting a failed notification. And when we got with the tech people and all of this, there was one person in the entire system that had some information wrong and the entire system wouldn't work. So when he's talking about you know, how sensitive it is, is, one person had some, basically the birthday said they were younger than 18 and the bank and the legal, we would not allow any payment to take place until that one person that said their birthday was younger than 16 uh, was fixed. Now it was a mistake because they had the birthday like 2023, 20, you know they weren't one year old, but the, because that birthday was incorrect, we couldn't pay anybody. The entire system wouldn't work. That's how sensitive it is. So y'all got to get your information in there properly, um, not for just our benefit, but yours as well. All right. Uh, this says, uh, this is a question, and I don't, this may be a Mr. Doucette question. I don't know, but it says, can PO boxes be used? You know what? I, I take that back. I do know. If whatever address is in your, uh, in your back office, it should work in the new system, even if it's a PO box, even if, if it's a PO. The reason I say that is because I do know that there are some PO boxes in the system and it, you know, populated in the commission. So that should be, uh, that should work. If you have an issue with that though, just, uh, you know, send a support ticket like Mr. Toussaint said. I have a question. Yes, Christine. Can 16-year-olds become business reps? They would have to be listed as a business, not as an individual. If they're 16 years old, they, they, would, have to, they would literally have to have a business account, not as an individual. Uh, that's another new law that, uh, that was unique to certain states. But now, as of January, the FTC, everybody in this industry has to be, every individual has to be 18 years old. Now, if you set up a corporation, that, that's a little bit different. So. Okay, I'll get back with you then. Okay. Were you done, Mr. Doucette? 
Yes, sir, I am. I okay. Am. All right, excellent. Well, let's get ready to get out of here. Just one last thing that I need. First of all, anybody can anybody tell me as it relates to this business, what does the acronym SWAT stand for? Raise your hand. SWAT, S-W-A-T. What does that stand for, SWAT? Can anybody raise your hand and tell me what that means to stand for? I'm going to cry if nobody raised their hand. S-W-A-T. Okay, I see your hand. Let's see who is that. Oh, not you, Mr. Doucet. Let me wait before you say it. Anybody I just, know? I, I just didn't want you to cry, so. I know. I'm going to cry. S-W-A-T. Okay, I see Miss Akbar. Go ahead, Miss Akbar. Excuse me, I had to come off from mute on something else. It's background noise. Um, special winning attitude team. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. That acronym SWAT stands for Special Winning Attitude Team. Y'all want to write that down. SWAT, Special Winning Attitude Team. I appreciate that. That's important because this, that notion is what's going to allow us to continue to help and support everybody, no matter what, you know, if somebody else is doing a, a meeting. Get on the meeting. That's a special winning attitude team. That is the support team. If, if somebody in a local area is doing a meeting, the SWAT team should get there early, help them set up chairs, help them arrange the room, help them bring energy to the room. That is people helping people. That is us reps helping other reps. Well, the, I, I asked that question because moving forward, we're going to need to help and support each other in, the big, in a big way. And I'm going to need five volunteers, and I'll tell you what I'm going to need it for uh, in one second. But on Monday night, uh, Mr. Landry, Mr. Doucette, and myself, we're going to have a, a, a call, just a quick call. It's going to be a training the trainers kind of call. We'll have a call on Monday. You'll hear about this. But it's just for these five people. I need five volunteers, and I'm going to pray I get these five volunteers. I don't care who you are, your rank, your status. But here's what's going to happen on next Saturday's training from, you know, 11 to 12 Eastern. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to have a, a 30 minute presentation. OK, we're going to have a 30 minute presentation. So on next Saturday's training, you can actually invite guests because it's going to be a 30 minute presentation followed by a 30 minute training. So it's still going to be an hour, approximately an hour, but about a 30 minute presentation and a 30 minute training next week. OK. I'm going to be on, Mr. Doucette's going to be on, Mr. Landon's going to be on, our Crown Ambassadors are going to be on. But here's the thing. This presentation and training will be broken up with five of the volunteers that I want to take right now. And here's what we need. The first volunteer I need, I need somebody to basically introduce the presenter next week. And by the way, we will need at every presentation moving forward. Now, I'm not on the presentations on Tuesday, but every presentation moving forward, Mr. Doucette, Mr. Landrum, and anybody else, if you don't have someone doing an introduction, make sure you get someone doing an introduction. Okay? That's per the CEO. <laughs> but anyway, I need a volunteer next week that can do an introduction. Anybody volunteer? Raise your hand or come off the mute. I'm going to write your name down. I'll wait. Anybody hey. volunteer to do the intro? I did. Okay, Pat Hartwell. Got Pat. Thank you, Pat. I'll volunteer. Who said that? Uh, Brandon. So we got, okay, Brandon. So we got Brandon. So the next volunteer I needed was for the first 15 minutes of the presentation. And we got none other than Mr. Brandon Preston. I'm so excited to hear Mr. Brandon Preston go to the first 15 minutes of the presentation. I need somebody to do the back half, the second uh, half of the presentation. Volunteer? Don't get scared now. 15 <laughs> minutes. Volunteer. Christine Jackson. Christine, thank you so very much. I just appreciate that. Let me re rearrange these wires. I got wires. I got wires and water on my desk. That's not a good combination. But anyway, Christine, thank you so much. That's the second 15 minutes. Then I need a volunteer for the first 15 minutes of training. A volunteer, anybody. First 15 minutes of training. I'll wait.
Okay, I got your message. Anybody, the first 15 minutes of training. I'll wait. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, Pat. Oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> first 15 minutes of training. Thank you, Norman. I appreciate that. Norman Knight. The second 15 minutes of training, which includes uh, the close. Thank you, Robert Landry. I so appreciate that. Robert Landry. God is That's good. It. God, God is, is excellent. good. So we got all of our volunteers, three volunteers and two volunteers. So we got... <laughs> We got doing the intro, and by the way, uh, Pat, uh, during the introduction, yeah, so we got in, Pat doing the intro, we got Brandon doing the first 15 minutes of the presentation, we got Christine doing the second 15 minutes of the presentation, we got Norman doing the first 15 minutes of training, we got Robert doing the second 15 minutes of training, which is closed, that's the five volunteers. Now, those five individuals, I'm going to send you a link to uh, a training call that we're gonna have on Monday at eight Eastern. Hopefully you can hop on. And uh, myself, Mr. Landry, Mr. Doucette, we're going to, we're not just throwing you in the water. We're gonna train you on how to do these things, okay? So Pat, we're gonna train you on what we want you to say and how to say it on the intro. Brandon, we're gonna give, and, and give you the slides. We're gonna give you the slides for the first 15 minutes of the presentation for you to study on. Um, Christine, we're going to give you the slides for the second 15 uh, minutes of the presentation and what how to present on that. And uh, Norma, we'll give you the first the slides for the first 15 minutes of training. It's going to be very simple. And uh, Robert, we'll give you the slides for the last 15 minutes of the training and the close. And uh, so the five of you expect an email from me today. We'll get on that call Monday to make sure you coached up and trained up. And so here's why the SWAT team is so important. Next Saturday, we need everybody that's possible to support these five individuals. We need everybody to support them. We're going to do more and more of this because we got to get other people who are leaders, people stepping up, people doing presentations, multiple presentations. Mr. Doucette, Mr. Landrum, and myself, we can't do it all. You know, we need to get on the road to help you build your business. We got a system in place now. The system is rocking and rolling. Um, so. Uh, we're going to let the system do what it does. We're going to get on the road traveling all over the world, helping you build. But then we're going to need people who can do presentations, who can do trainings. So we need to coach you up and make sure that happens. So expect that email. The five of you guys expect that link. I'm going to send that out to you after this call. We'll hop on Monday for a few minutes. We'll make sure we have the slides ready for you and any questions that you may have. And I thank you guys for stepping up big time. That means a lot just for you to be able to step up. And trust me, everybody needs to be doing presentations anyway. I don't see why it's so difficult. You should already know this stuff. You know, y'all going to have to get out of dependent mode, dependent mode, and get into independent mode. I asked Mr. Doucette this the other day because uh, my mindset is a little bit different than, than the nice guys. That's Mr. Lander and Mr. Doucette. My thing is I asked him a question. What would happen to everybody's team if y'all didn't do no presentation? He couldn't give me an answer. You know why? Because nobody would do any presentation. Not literally, but for the most part, nobody would do any presentation. If we didn't do a presentation, if they didn't do a presentation, there wouldn't be any presentations. For the most part, some of y'all are doing presentations. You know, get me wrong. That has to change. That's that's you got a bunch of dependent representatives waiting on corporate to do a training, waiting on corporate to do a presentation, waiting on corporate to do this. That's a dependent organization. We need to transfer to an independent organization where you guys are taking control of your businesses you're taking this thing seriously we're no longer we don't even have to say that we ain't playing no more because your back office is going to tell the story on you everything you do or don't do your back office is going to tell on you so either we do it or we don't so let's the SWAT team let's everybody promote for Saturday get your guests on because I already know it. They're going to close this thing. Brandon, Christine, they're going to close this thing. I can't wait. I'm going to be sitting there on tiptoe anticipation. Get your guests there for your SWAT team, your energy. You know, if you can show your camera, show your camera. Give these people some love because they're going to be, they coming on the app. All right? 
Anything else before we dismiss anybody? Please make Definitely sure. Oh. Yeah, so I just want to thank you and let you know that I've always loved recorded presentations. And so my question is, because everybody can't get on in the evenings, but anybody can get on in the 24 hour seven that's available. So will that still be available? I know you've always had it. Yeah, I um, let me stop recording. I'm glad you said that. But in this this recording will be posted. Uh, let me stop recording. But. Um,